What is going on everyone? So in today's episode, we're gonna finally be working on the storage bed sleeping platform, whatever system. It's been a long time coming. I've been saying I was gonna do this since I got the FJ. Let's see, September, October, November, February, March, April. I don't even know what month it is. April? No less, eight months? It's been eight months. But I'm finally gonna do it. And as a disclaimer, I do not do woodworking or any of that sort. I've only messed it with it here and there. So I apologize in advance if any of the methods I do is not the correct way. I just want to get a good enough setup so then I can actually go on the road and not have an excuse to not be out on the road and going on adventures. So this is going to be version one of this build. And after I do a couple trips out of it, then we'll revise it and see what needs to be done or maybe just make it built better. But for now, hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So I want to show you guys exactly what I plan on doing with this build. Yesterday, I basically taught myself how to use SketchUp and I think I did a pretty good job. But anyways, this is a 3D model I created and it basically shows what I'm going to do. So this shows the little divot in the back of the trunk and this is the trunk and then this will be the seats are. So essentially what I plan on doing is cutting up that six by eight board up into three pieces. It's going to be two walls and then one back and I'm going to leave the middle empty. I believe because the width of it would be able to hold myself up just fine. But if need be, I'll add one more board in the middle right here to separate it, make it more secured for my weight. But from what I can tell, it should be able to hold it just fine as long as I put the board in the back here. And if we go up to here, I'll basically show the fold out that I plan on creating. This is still a rough idea what I want to do. But in today's video, I'm for sure going to be making at least this platform. And also the really cool thing I want to do is to complete the platform and extend it out this way. And then I put a fork mount for my mountain bike right here. It will take that same two inch board, make put it flat, screw it in and connect everything and it should be good to go. 27. So basically I'm just going to use this as the footprint of the trunk and base everything off of this. So let's get started. And if anyone's wondering why I'm not using the table saw, it's because it's broken. All right, well, if you're doing this project at home, six by eight is the perfect size because Ta da! <laughs> I didn't even plan on this. You guys can see it's actually raining but i have the motivation right now to do this so i'm gonna do it right now with the bike is it fits perfectly i can easily bring the bike in and out but this is the biggest issue i don't know if you guys can see it or if you guys are into biking and anything but um let me show you 
So this is called through axle. And what it means is that it goes through the axle. Simple enough, right? Problem is, I can't really fit that in there. I wish I can fit it through here, but on this side of the fork, this is where the threaded portion of it goes in. And I'm supposed to actually go this way. So, hmm. so I could turn it like this and this would probably work. And I think that might be my only option. And I really wish it wasn't because I think this way, especially for photos, if you go straight on, let me show you. I think this way looks great. Unfortunately, I think I have to choose function over form. I may just have to turn it. Oh wait, I can't even turn it this way. Okay, I just repositioned the camera. So, I was saying, I think this way looks great. And like for pictures and everything, and let me back out. Like, come on, that, that looks great. You have platform here, that mount there. This screams adventure or whatever. And like I said, we could turn it and it'll solve the problem down here. But now, <laughs> it doesn't solve the problem up here. It's actually sticking out. Mm. So it looks like the only compromise way I can do this. It's gonna require some more cutting, unfortunately. All right, back to work. You can definitely access everything from down here, but I think what I was originally gonna do is make this a bigger opening like this, so I can easily fit my hand down here to access that. But realistically, you just need to cut an opening down here to access all the electricals down here. But the more I stare at it, this is actually okay too, because if you run any wires down here, you can kind of put all the lines up here and then maybe do some wire tucking and everything. I don't know if I ever explained over here and the reason why I made a hole, but the first original hole I made was too small, where it was too difficult to put the through axle in, you know, go like this. I technically couldn't make this bigger to make it even more comfortable, but for right now, I think I may leave it how it is and just take some wood filer and just basically clean up all these uh, rough edges. So you guys may have noticed that this piece is actually shorter than this one. And that's because I was too cheap on getting the larger size because it was almost double the size. If you know that how expensive wood is these days, you want to save as much as possible. So it looks like we don't have to cut this in half. So uh, there's one less thing to do. So right now I'm just gonna cut the piano hinge to size. Also cut the carpet to size. So it's coming along. For the past hour or 
so I've been trying to construct a way so that this flap comes out and so it'd be completely sturdy. There's been many other builds I've seen where they put support on the bottoms over here and here, but how I plan on sleeping is that my head's over there and majority of my weight is gonna be on this. So that means that my feet is gonna be just touching this and dangling off here. I still wanna be able to turn myself and sit here comfortably where it's nice and sturdy. And because of that, I've been trying to figure out a simple way to do all this. So we're gonna do the piano hinge here. Underneath the hinge, I have this, what I thought of. It's a very simple idea, but it's very sturdy. All I did was take a two by four and I ripped off an inch basically, and then made it by a two by three instead. I wish this was longer, so I was able to insert it through here. And we have this so that when the plywood comes over here, is nice and sturdy and supporting both. The issue I have is that these are all scrap pieces of wood that I have. And if I did want to be cheap about this, so many other ways to do this where I can save space and be better looking. But again, this is only version one of just a rough setup that I want to do. If I like the setup or just this layout in general, then I may reconstruct it to how I would want it. But I just can't get myself to spend money on the materials that I really want and build it out perfectly per se. Like, the craftsmanship and then it turns out that I don't like the layout. That's the reason why I'm using a lot of scrap pieces of wood because it's saving me so much money doing this way. All I'm in is 40 bucks. <laughs> so 40 bucks is better than spending well over $100 on a layout that yet I'm not liking. So this video is coming to a close because we are all done for now. We're all done for now. This is just version one, like I said, just a rough thing just to get myself on the road. So let's talk about what we did. When the sleeping platform is in transport mode, you can see that I did not carpet this side. And that's purely because I didn't want to waste carpet for no reason. So all I did was I spray painted this black so it's a little nicer looking. And then I added the piano hinge in the back. So I originally was gonna cut this in half, but luckily this clears just fine. So if you're doing this at home, you can definitely do this in just two pieces and not three like I've seen online. I'm assuming the reason why people did three pieces is because they pushed their seat all the way up so they have the extra clearance. But I plan on making a sleeping platform for my dog in the front seat since he's 90 pounds and the big boy, but that's a different video for that. I wish I was able to show you guys me installing the carpet and painting everything, but unfortunately I actually deleted all the files. So that's on my part. So we'll switch to this side, and then you can see that I carpeted the mountain biking side, and I also installed the through axle fork adapter back in place. This fits pretty good. I originally had this screwed in, um, but I may just leave it floating around. And the reason why I'm thinking that is because if for some reason I don't have my bike and I need some more support here, I can always take this off. Pop that. Pop that. And now we have a divider as well as more support in the front. I noticed that if I hop in and out that there is some flex here, so maybe eventually this would weaken and maybe fail. Um, but if I do something along this line, it'll definitely hold in place. 
but I don't want to have a permanent divider in here because I want room for bigger things like my Jackery solar power. So if you're interested in this, I'll have a link in the description below where to get it. But it fits perfectly in here, as long as with some other camping essentials or whatever essentials I need to throw in here. So that fits in there good. And also this fits in there just fine. So let's talk about this thing. Like I said in my video, this is essentially just a two x four that I ripped to become a two x three. And this is just my base layer for the sleeping platform side so everything is nice and sturdy. This is the simplest method and solution I can think of at this moment. But honestly, I don't really like it that much just cause it's kind of bulky, but it'll do the job for now. But that's the reason why it still looks unfinished. That's why I didn't wrap it with carpet or paint it or anything because I honestly don't think I'm gonna keep this, but it's there for now. What I was planning on doing is mounting it up here somehow and using, if I can find, one moment. And use it for a cooler so it doesn't move around or take this off, store this away. I would figure out exactly the size of the frame screw these in here and use these dividers and then this would support something like that i really don't know like i said this is still version one i'm still trying to figure out what i want to do how i want to set everything up but so far i'm really digging this setup i'm really liking what i did it's definitely enough to get myself to get on the road i'm very very happy and it'll do the job for me so let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this simple, very budget build. If you have any advice or tips you want to give me or anyone else that's watching, you know, leave it in the comment below. I would greatly appreciate it. I love reading comments. And also, I am planning on building a sleeping platform similar to this for my dog up in front. So if you're an FJ owner and a doggy parent and you want to bring your companion on the road, then make sure you subscribe because that'll probably be my next, next video. I'll be posting. I'm actually more excited to build that up front than I was for this. So again, thank you guys all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Hey Charlie. Hey buddy. Oh God.